Hello everybody, Quiet Atheist here. Now in this particular video that I'm going to be making today, I'm going to be talking about Oklahoma GOP State Representative Sally Kern. Now in this particular article that I want to share with you guys, she basically makes it known that she is completely against homosexuality and same-sex marriage. She believes that marriage equality does not exist and that these are things that literally eat away at the very fabric of human nature. Now she also says that homosexuality is worse than terrorist attacks because gay rights are literally destroying America. She also makes it known that AIDS is more dangerous than terrorist attacks as well because AIDS kills more people than terrorist attacks. Now with this whole particular AIDS issue she basically implies that it comes from gay and lesbian couples when in all actuality she is incorrect about this particular issue. You see, AIDS is an unfortunate disease that literally will kill anyone that it comes across. It doesn't discriminate against any type of individual. The moment it comes in contact with people, a large percentage of the time, it will kill them. It doesn't matter if you're gay, it doesn't matter if you're straight, it doesn't matter if you're lesbian, it doesn't matter, period. This disease is very deadly and it is very serious. And I think that this particular woman that I'm talking about doesn't take life too seriously. She doesn't respect life and she doesn't respect her fellow human beings. And that is why I have a problem with her. She thinks that because of people's sexual preference that they are literally going to destroy America. And I have to ask you this question, Miss Kern. Do you think that a gay or lesbian wedding is literally going to destroy your life? Is it going to destroy everything that you believe in? Is it going to destroy your right as a human being? If you actually believe that, then you are really sad. And that's just another pathetic excuse by you to get people to listen to what you have to say. I completely think that your whole thought process is immoral because gay and lesbian couples are human beings too and they have a right to love each other the way that we straight people love each other and you have no right to dictate who people can love when they love and how they love and that's just how reality works I know you Christians hate that but that's the way that it goes there are a lot of Christians that I have come across in today's society that really put me in the wrong way and by wrong way I mean piss me off because they think that they are better than everybody else like this individual woman that I'm talking about today they think that they are morally superior than we are this woman that I'm talking about today obviously doesn't care about homosexuality and doesn't care about her fellow human beings she basically thinks that gays and lesbians are a waste of space she doesn't have a respect for any of those people. And to me, that is an extremely fraud concept to have. She does not have any passion for humanity. She just wants to spread her propaganda as though if it were truth. When in all actuality, that is not the case. And it's people like this that literally destroy America. But she is too ignorant to know the facts. People like her spread hate, spread bigotry, spread discrimination like peanut butter on a piece of bread. And they think that it is good for everybody else to think like them, to behave like them, and to treat people the way that they treat people. And it is not good for America. It is not good for America to be exposed or to be subjected to this kind of monstrosity we know as Christianity. And thankfully, sometimes, you know, I really have to laugh at this particular situation because in all actuality, Christianity is on a decline these days. And people like this woman are willing to do anything and everything to spread their propaganda, to spread their agenda, to say things that are going to try and get people to move to her side and to literally try to scare people they base their whole life on hate. They base their whole life on living for a reward in the end. 
and they are too busy looking through a toilet paper roll instead of paying attention to what's around them. They don't appreciate life and what it has to offer. They don't appreciate their fellow human beings and what they have to offer because they're too busy worrying about their own faith in something that has no evidence of existing in the first place. And to me, that is an extremely barbaric thought process that is literally eating away at America as we know it. And we see it all over the place. We see hatred, we see bigotry, and we see all types of things that this lady believes in eat away at America as we know it. And we see evidence of this pretty much all of the time. Yet, these particular people will deny it. They will deny it to no end. Because again, they think that they are morally superior than we are and that what they're doing is actually the correct way of doing things. And that is simply not the case. This woman has to live with herself and all the hatred that she spews. And in the article, she said that she don't understand why people hate her so much, basically. And I really request, Miss Kern, that you actually listen to your own self. Listen to what you say. Because, in fact, what you say does compel people to hate you, does compel people to dislike you. Take a recorder sometimes and record what you have to say about people and really pay attention to what you have to say because it is what you say that really has a impact on people, you know. So naturally you can expect people to react the way that they do because of your hatred, because of your bigotry. People are going to react. People are going to stand strong in solidarity against you and rightfully so because you are literally with this faith of yours eating away at social development you are completely taking away the opportunity for society to grow the way that it needs to grow and that is why I'm here to point out the nonsense that you have in your particular statements and that is all that I have to say about this particular issue because this whole position of yours, Miss Kern, is completely unnecessary. And Christianity in general is completely unnecessary. Now, are all Christians like this? No. But is the ones out there that are totally being assholes are the ones that are literally eating away at society. And it's people like you that really spoil everything that really basically corrupt everything with your type of thinking and that's all that I have to say about this so to my subscribers please feel free to leave your thoughts in the comment section down below let me know what you guys think about this issue because it is an important issue to me you know I really dislike people that have this particular position you know Please feel free to share my video with anyone that might be interested, whether it be on Facebook, Google+, Tumblr, Reddit, wherever you guys hang out. Till next time, The Quiet Atheist is out, and remember, if you can't be good, be good at it. Most of all, thank you for watching, and I will see you next video. And hopefully, these bigots like this Sally Kern will actually wake up and realize that what they are doing is wrong.